just a quick video on my DIY bearing puller. It is a hefty, hefty three dollars. Uh, of course, you do need a couple of extra parts laying around, a big old socket or some kind of item <laughs> that is going to give you the space needed for the bearing to actually come out. Um, so you're not trying to push the bearing into something that's flush with the uh, with the piece or the part that you're trying to pull the bearing out of. And then obviously, you know, some socket wrenches to actually actuate and, and tighten the, the bolt and nut that, uh, that I put together. So it's, it's certainly way cheaper than me going and get a bearing puller. Of course, it's not universal. So one of these days I'm going to actually save up enough money and go get a proper bearing puller. But um, the ones on Amazon are just, they look like they're abysmally bad and the reviews are horrible and it doesn't seem like a, it'd be a good investment of money, especially because I can do it for three bucks. So let's see if it works. Ta-da! So that's out. And the beauty with this is I now have a bearing that's in good condition, at least in terms of the profile of... Here, let's see if I can get it in focus. At least in terms of the, the po profile and um, touching edges. So I'll be able to use this bearing. Here's an example. This one's in still in decent condition, so I want to leave this piece completely alone just so that I have a backup uh, in case it's hard to find the bearings again. But uh, it's still not in perfect condition. I can kind of feel slight um, scuff marks and stuff on it. But if this was another bearing that I just kind of set in there, then this gives me the opportunity to be able to push down on this bearing uh, and actually seat the bearing that I'm replacing without having to worry about the the actual drive bit hurting the, the bearing itself because it's not going to touch anything important basically so yeah that'll be another video parts not in yet I just needed to make sure that I could get the part out safely and effectively so we will be able to replace it next week.